of 2021, excited to share this um, really cool tool in Avid called Script Sync. Um, I just started on this huge project where I have about like, uh, there's five days of filming with five contestants and interviews at the end of each day. And so I needed to find a way to find the right lines to place throughout the uh, show, right? And um, so I just started to use Script Sync, and I quickly realized that I should have been using Script Sync for my entire life. This thing is like the best feature to use when you have a lot of interviews, even if you have a single interview. This is just an amazing thing to use. So I'll show you real quick. So first of all, we create our scripts in Otter. Uh, so we export the audio from our timeline, upload that to Otter here. No, I'm not paid by Otter. I just really like the service. Um, I, I think I don't think that they would ever pay me. I have like 300 subscribers. Maybe I'll get there one day. I don't know. Uh, but download that text file, and, and then you will bring that into Avid. So to bring it into Avid, you go File, Not Input, but New, Script. And then you will just find that file. There it is. Open. And bring it into your Avid. Um, yeah, so scripts cannot be put in bins so you can't put it alongside um you know your your timelines and your sequences you can put it in a folder so you just create a scripts folder and, and go from there okay so there's a script now here is our uh right our timeline with a cam b cam and you will have to create a group from that because you can't sync sequences to scripts only groups and individual clips if that makes sense there okay so you just right click in there create group which we've already created which is right here and then what you will do is you will just highlight everything in your script and you will drag that into the script now that in itself doesn't actually sync it it just says this clip group belongs to all of this text okay so it doesn't actually do anything other than just put it there if you wanted like so for example if you wanted to get rid of that okay and then let's say you have multiple groups that belong to a single script right so you can highlight areas that you want and then drag your group in there and it'll only go to that part right so you see so this is saying this group belongs to this amount of script but we have the whole one, so I'm going to redo that. Just highlight it all and bring it in there. Okay. So this image doesn't really matter where it is. It's just more of a marker I found. So like if you're down here, you're working on your you know edit, and you're at this point in the script, it'll it'll bring you down there, right? So you just don't lose your your place. Okay. So you'll highlight everything, um, and then you'll say script and script sync. Let's do that. Uh, a track um, and just go let it do its thing and there it is okay so what it will do is we'll create these dots and each paragraph now you can jump to in that multi group just by double clicking on it right so here we are and as you can see, it jumped to there, jumped to there, right? Jumped to here. So it just, so it's, yeah, so it just syncs it. Really nice. One thing, though, to keep in mind is that these are long paragraphs that have been transcribed. And so when you double click on it, it goes to the beginning of that paragraph. What you can do to adjust that and to change that is to edit your script. Okay, go up here, click on that, and then you can edit it and just you know, kind of enter here, enter here. Um, let's see, I'll go here. And then you can also create notes that are skipped if you indent in caps or, you know, semicolons too in, in your settings. I think, colon, semi, I don't know. Um, talking about nothing, you know, you can say introduction or whatever there. And then you can save that. But remember, if you do this, if you edit your script, it's always good to edit your script first because if you edit it after like I just did, it's still in this section will only take you to the beginning here, okay? So if you do it after, it's not a big deal, but you do have to resync it. So you just kind of highlight everything, 
script and script sync and then it'll it'll sync it there so so yeah that's uh that's script sync in avid it is a fantastic tool i use it all the time you can search uh in your script you can create you know scenes and stuff and there's there's a lot more to um this like if you were to search here you can current script you know and search something there there you go totally expected so or you can search all your scripts in the project um which is also really good so if you need to find a line really fast that you know is in a, in a paper script that you have um yeah it's just it's super fantastic so that's it script sync